you've come to the right place. And we're going to do everything we can to give you all the help you need. You know that big box of ginger snaps out in the kitchen? Yeah. Bill opened it. Do you mind? <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, what did Dylan want? I don't know. It was about his father. For a moment, I thought he, he knew about me, but uh, it's not it. There's something, something else going on. I'm sorry we interrupted. No, it's okay. I... I guess he really trusts you. He came all the way over to talk to you. Yeah, well, you see, I'm a good guy. Billy, how long can you do it? How long can you keep on hearing good guy when what you really want to hear is dad? Father, can I go up in the attic? I saw some more drunk. Yeah, sure. Hey, there's a lot of great stuff up there. Thanks. Yeah. I wish you wouldn't do that. I wish you wouldn't encourage him like that. Tom, he's my son. What is it you want me to do? I want you to be realistic with him. I'll be realistic. You want to make him a stranger in my house? Keep him a stranger to me? Of course I don't. Well, then why are you pushing so hard to keep us apart? Wait a minute. That's not fair. Yeah, that's right. It's not No. Fair. It's not fair to say that. You know he has to go back to school. Please don't make it more difficult for him. Well, then he, he doesn't have to go back to school. He can stay right here with us. Oh, that's the whole point. There is no us. See, I thought I was going there to help the others out, but it turns out I need it just as much as any of them. Sammy, you were just in over your head, that's all. Over my head, Uncle Ross. I disappeared. I forgot who I was. All I cared about... I don't know what I'm saying. Would you excuse us for a minute? Yes, of course. I'll just uh, get some more coffee. <laughs> You can say it now. What? What you couldn't say when Ross was in the room. Because he's not a big fan of Dylan's. That's it, isn't it? How do you know about this? Oh, I was in love once. I know the symptoms. That's all you cared about, isn't it? Dylan? Maybe because it's the first time a guy really liked me. Maybe I read too many books. It always sounds so good, losing yourself in someone else. It's so easy to do, especially with someone as wonderful as he is. But it's so wrong. Do you realize how far you are? I would have liked to have known that at your age. Oh, it's not that great, Mrs. Lindsay. Mm, Holly, please, Holly. In fact, it stinks. Now I don't know what to do. I feel like I changed all at once. Everything around me seems so strange. I know I need to slow down and give myself room. But I'm so scared. What are you scared of? That if I take time to find myself, I'll lose Dylan. But you can be yourself and still be in love. I still don't know how he feels about me. What if he doesn't understand? What if he just thinks that I'm being weird? Oh, Sam, if he cares about you, he'll understand. And if he doesn't, well, you really haven't lost anything. Okay. Pop said the dinner rush is getting really bad. Okay, I'll head over. <laughs> If you sold the lease, you'd make a bundle, then Pops wouldn't have to spend all day on his feet. Well, for your information, he doesn't want to sell any more than I do. Then I think you're crazy. This, this neighborhood is so run down. Nadine, this place is home. Now, that may not mean much to you, okay, but I'm not going to turn my back on it. 
Once you start doing that, you start forgetting who you are. Frank, you are not a, a grease pitter or a short order kitchen. That's not what he means, Mommy, and you know it. He's right. Can you talk some sense into them? Either way, they're smart. How can it be smart to stay here? If they love it, they should stay. And if they decide to move, <laughs> they can name their own price. <laughs> oh, you think someone's going to be fool enough to offer them more? Oh, I'm, I'm out of here. Enough. I'm not going to stick around for this part. Don't worry, Frank. I'll handle her. <laughs> See ya. Riddle her? What are you... It's rumored that Spalding Enterprises is going to be building Blakewood Towers right down here on the waterfront. Down here? Well, that means that this whole area will be worth double or triple or maybe even ten times. Oh, baby, you two are so smart. I'm not selling. Not at any price. But, honey, you've got... Listen, Harley, i got to go, too. I... Listen, but will you do me a favor, will you? If you hear from DePaul, any of those other characters, you call me a... right as soon as you can. Okay. All right. Okay, Thank sure. you. Bye. Honey, how can you afford to turn down these offers? I know how broke you've been. Are you getting back together with Alan Michael? No. And Mom, I don't want to talk. Not about him, not about the leases, not anything, okay? Well, how about dinner, hmm? I knew you wouldn't go to the store yourself, so... Thanks. Mm -hmm. Do you want to eat together? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> I will even cook. Oh, great. So why don't you go upstairs and get things started, and I'll just close up the store. Sure. Okay? your heat. Is it working yet? Oh, no. I need a new valve. <laughs> but I'm going to use that thing for a while so I can do it. What's up? I was wondering how you were. I was worried about you after the day at the doctor's. Oh, yeah. That was kind of weird, huh? Felt like I lost myself there. Between you and Alan Michael, I lost me. Yeah, I think we all did. Yeah. But I came out knowing that this is right, that I should be alone right now. You like it? Truth? It scares me to death sometimes. But it's okay, because I know that whatever happens, that I did it, and that it's for me. You always know how to get through it, don't you? No way, are you kidding? Look at the mess I made. Yeah, but you always know how to live through it, no matter... No matter what it is, you, you just... Dylan, Dylan, what's wrong? Nothing. I, I can't talk about it. Hey, this is me. You can tell me. I found out who my father was. Really? That's great. You think so? He's a rapist. My father raped Reba Shane. <laughs> 